Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and uh, today we will discuss about how we can filter through the slicer the list of values. Okay, so at suppose you have a list of values okay, 20, 30 or whatever may the count would be. How you can filter those value to your report? What does it mean? Let me explain it first. Okay, take a slicer here first. And here, let's try to put the subcategory. I'm taking a small set of data here, so that it will be easier to understand. So here, there are a list of, now you can do drop down, all these things you can do. But the goal here is here is that, let me take a table here, right? So here I'm taking my subcategory and I'm taking my net sales. Okay, so now, we can do have a multiple selection. Okay. Suppose I want to select accessories. I will select it. Now, suppose I want to select appliances. I can click control or without control. But this is the way only we can select your multiple selection. Right. Just imagine that. Suppose somebody has given you a list of subcategories like this. This is only a 20. It could be any number. Let's take 1000, 2000, 5000. And you want to see in your report whether that is present or not present. What you will do in this case, you will go to each and just check one by one, right? Accessories, okay, filter. Then I will come to here, appliances, I will select appliances. Like that, it is quite hard to select everything, right? One by one, I need to see my file, what the list of the subcategory which I want to filter. Then based on that, the normal slicer will work. Right. Is there any alternate? Yes, we have an alternate for this. So, what is the alternate? Let me remove this. And for that, we'll take help of the custom visualization in this case. Okay, what is this custom visualization name is? Let's click on these three dots, get more visuals, and search list. And this is the one, the filter by list. This is a very good uh, custom visualization which you will use to filter the list. Okay. Let's click on this. Okay. Add it. <clears throat> okay. Import is successful. Now click on this and resize it somewhere here and drag the whichever the column you want there. Let's do some formatting. First of all, I'll go to general. Size is fine. Text, suppose you want to put any other text color. So let's take you want to write in a some other this color. And I just, I don't want to any, any just this default message. I don't want to print it. I'm just giving a space. So it will goes out. Go to the general. Click on the title and say the pill, please enter values. Okay. And let's show the text color little bit changes. So you will get one message here. Now here the advantage is I can type there. First point is this. First advantage is I can let me do little bit size also change. It is already nine only. 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, somewhere, okay. So now, if I write like this, accessories, enter, then I'll say art, enter, bookcases, okay. Then if I click on this filter button, automatically this three will be automatically filter. This is the first one. Second advantage is in this case, I can copy paste the value. So I just select this total value, control C, go to the power bay, click on here, control V and press the filter. Automatically it will get applied. I selected everything. Let's select five or six. Okay. So let's take this much only I want to select. Okay. Then I will go here, cancel it, put it here and filter it. That was only applicable. This is a very cool one. 
only disadvantages is is in this case or there is a limitation uh, for this uh, visual is whenever you have let's take in this case one subcategory name let's take it's like furnituring comma f one comma is there or any any delimiter is available and if you select that right and if you put it here then let's see this will not work okay because we need to have a proper set of data in different rows the listing this is quite less possibility but this is the only limitation otherwise you can just select anything and just put it there and leave it just delete it and put it here and just flash it it will work it's a very cool and you can use in your project also okay <clears throat> okay thank you thanks for watching this please share it across with your friends and family for more learning and please please subscribe to the channel uh, this will be motivate more to me to give all the interesting content like this okay thank you and have a nice day bye bye